Hey everyone, it's Tyler here with the Chicago Metro History Fair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your summary statement and annotated bibliography onto your website that you create using NHD Web Central. So in the process, we're going to cover both uh, embedding PDF files into your website, and we're also going to talk about how to resize and rearrange those elements uh, once you've placed them on your website so that they uh, appear correctly for your viewers. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm already signed in to NHD web central here uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click to edit my site you can see I've got uh, let's clear out this little news pop-up you can see I've got a super basic uh, home page here I haven't really built this out just created it for demo purposes um, and uh, I want to show you what we're gonna end up with here and that's a references page let me go into preview and show you uh, so I've ended up with a references page with my summary statement here on the left. I can scroll through the different pages of that. Obviously it's the blank, I didn't really fill it out. And then uh, annotated bibliography on the right. It's up to you how you want to arrange these on the page, but just for the purposes of this demo, I've just placed them side by side like this. So this is uh, what I'm going to show you how to recreate. Um, and so in order to get started doing that, let's go ahead and first uh, delete my references page. Okay, we'll hit save as always. Uh, references page is gone. All right, great, so we're starting fresh. Um, let's get started. So first thing we need to do is create the page itself. So I'm gonna do what I just did in reverse, go into my manage pages and create a references page. The page name, the first field you see here, page name is uh, like what's gonna appear in your URL box. Um, it's like the file name. And then the page title is what's gonna appear on your menus and your auto nav and everything like that. So make sure your title is formatted properly the way you want it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add that page. Uh, you'll notice it didn't automatically take us to the page, so make sure that after you create a page, you actually go to it so that you can begin editing it. Um, so let's head to my references. Um, a few things before we start embedding that we always want to do. First is always make sure that you're starting each page with a container. It's really going to make life easier. Um, so I'll go ahead and drag my container onto the page. Um, one other thing, just a side note, this is not really related to embedding your summary statement and bibliography, but uh, make sure you put that uh, auto nav on every page. We'll be creating a separate video about auto nav, but it's a real lifesaver. Um, so make sure that you've got that on every page. Otherwise, uh, people can't kind of get back out of your page once they're there. So leaving that menu at the top of every page is a really great idea. Um, obviously you want to put like a page title and stuff like that too here uh, if you're doing this on your actual website. Um, but once we've got that kind of taken care of, uh, let's go ahead and get started with that embedding process. Like I said, I'm going to do them side by side, uh, summary statement and bibliography side by side for this demo. So I'm going to use this two column layout here. Um, you can experiment with other layouts if you're feeling comfortable with them, but for this demo, we'll stick with the two column. I want to make sure I'm dragging that inside of my original container. So not below it right here where it's just, um, nested under the page. We want that to be nested under the container that we first put on the page. So make sure you're dropping that two column layout into your original container. And so now I've dropped that there and you can see uh, basically these are my two columns or these two cells. The way NHD Web Central thinks of columns, it's basically just thinking of a table with one row and multiple columns. Um, so We've got our two columns here. Uh, just to keep things like simple and organized, I'm going to move a header into each column. This will just help me keep uh, keep things straight. Also, probably a good idea when you're making your page to do this so that your documents have labels. But for now, just to, so we know what's what's going where, I want to put a header into each of those uh, cells or columns. And now I want to go ahead and embed those documents. So I'm going to use this embed multimedia block drag that onto the right, drag that onto the, or I'm sorry, left, and then drag that onto the right. Uh, you can see right away uh, an issue has kind of been created by putting these side by side. Uh, they're too wide and they can't both fit next to each other without uh, kind of overlapping or one bumps the other uh, kind of off of the page. Um, I'll show you how that looks in a second and then we'll go back and fix it later. But for now, I just want to set my source. Uh, I've already created my bibliography and summary statement ahead of time. I know where they are on my computer. So I'm going to double click here. Um, I've actually already uploaded them, I think, here. But in case you haven't, you can just click this little um, box. Uh, it's going to take you to a dialogue where you can search for your files. Let's upload my, I think, summary statement I had on the left. So let's start with my summary statement. 
Okay, this gets a little weird, so uh, make sure you're doing this part correctly. Once you've uploaded the file, it's going to appear on your list on the right. Uh, to get it to actually take from this list and put it into your media embed, you just need to click once. And there's no apply or save or anything, so you're just going to X out of that. Um, so I'll do that again with the bibliography right here. So I'm going to double click to set my source, click this kind of dotted line box to bring up my um, file upload dialog. Now I'm going to do my bibliography. It has now appeared in the list on the right. Now that I've uploaded it, I'm going to single click that file that I want. I can see it loaded in the background and then X out of the pop-up dialog. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, we've accomplished our main objective, which is to create a references page with a summary statement and bibliography on it. Just want to quickly preview and make sure. Um, so yeah, it looks okay. Um, the summary statement is here. I can scroll down to read that whole thing. Bibliography is over on the right. I can scroll down to read that bibliography. Um, one issue though still remains. Oops, let me get my email out of there. And that is, um, if I change the size of the window, I start to lose, look how the annotated bibliography is running off the edge of the page. Eventually it should figure it out and place it below the summary statement. Yeah, right there. But, um, oh no, that's still, it's still not working out right. It's still running off the side of the page. So obviously we need to resize these um, to get them to appear the way we want them. So let me close my preview and I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, this can get a little bit complicated, but if you understand this, you're going to understand a lot about not just NHD Web Central, but about how web pages are structured generally that's going to help you with this project. And uh, if you choose to work with any more web development in the future, understanding this is really going to be helpful. So let's look at our summary statement embed element. Um, and I'm going to go into my styling pane here. If it's not already, it should pop up when you just click the element, but if it doesn't, you can click this little paintbrush and get your style pane to pop up. And we want to work with the dimensions here. So I'm going to open this dimensions <coughs> box. Um, and the first thing I want you to notice is right here in red, we've got a width and a height. And HD Web Central has defaulted to a width of 615 pixels and a height of 350 pixels. Um, basically, that's telling the page, uh, hey, this summary statement needs to be 615 pixels wide, no matter what. So no matter how big your window is, no matter what's next to it, um, no matter what size the user wants things to be, this is going to appear at 615 pixels. Um, and so it's not giving us a lot of flexibility. And so it takes up its 615 pixels. This one also tries to take up its 615 pixels. That ends up adding up to more pixels than we have on the screen. And so that's where we get the <clears throat> effect where one runs off the edge of the screen. Now to fix the width issue, we're going to stop using pixels because we don't want this one to say, hey, I'm 615 pixels wide. We're going to use a little setting and I'm going to change 615 pixels to 100%. I'm just going to type a percent sign in there and then I'm going to hit enter. It looks like we've actually made it worse, but I'm going to do the same thing now to the annotated bibliography. So I'm going to select the element, make sure I'm in my style sheet, make sure I'm under dimensions, go to my width, and I'm going to set my width to 100% and I'm going to hit enter. As soon as I hit enter, you can see that uh, now both appear centered on the page. You do see these horizontal scroll bars, but that'll kind of take care of itself in a minute. I'll show you. Um, but you can see the annotated bibliography is no longer at risk of running off the edge of the page. I'm going to click save and preview this. And you can see now they're playing a lot nicer together uh, and they're uh, really uh, willing to, whoops, excuse me, share the space a little bit more. So as I condense, you can see that the annotated bibliography is not running off the page at any point. Um, and if I really make it run out of space, they're going to stack on top of each other. Still got the issue, they don't, they're not stacking correctly, but we'll go back and fix that next. Um, so the horizontal spacing is much, much improved here. Let's fix our vertical spacing. As you can imagine, we're going to go through pretty much the same process. So instead of having a, a set height of 350 pixels, um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, let's, let's see how this works. I've determined uh, through some trial and error that 750 pixels is about the height of the page that we want. So what I'm going for is about 750 pixels. Um, when I do that, you can see that the box uh, stretches out to take up the full 750. Let's do that again with our annotated bibliography. Whoops. Okay, enter. So now each of the summary statement and the annotated bibliography, the embed element for each, 
are both set to 100% height and 750, or I'm sorry, 100% width and 750 pixels for their height. Double checking, yep, 100% width, 750 pixels for the height. Let's save, preview. So this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. You can see the summary statement. This is actually a little bit taller than just the one page. Uh, you could tweak that if you wanted to, but this is fine. This certainly fulfills your requirements um, and is gonna be easy for a judge to find and look at, and that's really the key. So summary statement here, annotated bibliography. It's actually only a one page sample that I use, so I can't scroll it here, but let's see how that goes if we uh, trim down our horizontal size and get them to stack again. Oh, that didn't quite work the way that we wanted for our summary statement. So um, let's go ahead and take another crack at that. I think that what's going on here is that the embed element wants to take up the 750 pixels in height, um, but when we uh, condense the window and it, uh, they need to stack on top of each other, uh, it actually cannot fill up that 750 pixel. Okay, and the reason that the embed elements can't take up their full 750 pixels is because the cells that they live inside are actually keeping them uh, squished down. So the embed is part of this cell, that's part of a row. Um, and so what I've done here is uh, I, I cut the camera, I cut the feed here, and now I'm re-recording. And so by changing the height of uh, not the embed element, well, that's also at 750 pixels, but also the cell, uh, see here I'm selecting the cell, uh, is also uh, been changed to a 750 pixel height. Uh, let me do the same thing with the other cell. Make sure I'm selecting that cell. Go into my dimensions, change that to 750 pixels. Uh, and now I'm going to save, preview. And let's try this one more time as I condense. There we go, we see the nice stacking effect. So the summary statement gets its full height followed by the annotated bibliography uh, getting its full height. I would still really like to see that header uh, that says annotated bibliography appear right up here. So there's a little bit of tweaking left to do. That's kind of the nature of not just of NHD Web Central, but of, of web design is uh, kind of endless tweaking and adjusting um, and optimizing. So uh, there's still a little bit of work left here to do. Uh, I'll leave that to you to tweak and play around with. Uh, but for now, this video has walked you through embedding your summary statement and annotated bibliography and adjusting the spacing and alignment of those elements on your page so that they appear properly. So I hope this video has been helpful. Check out our other videos or contact us at the Chicago Metro History Fair if we can be of further help and best of luck making history with your History Fair website projects.